All right, here we are at uh, 45 Pine Brook. Nice corner lot, set back pretty pretty far in the neighborhood and off the main street, but nice size corner lot here. Let's go take a look. Nice mature trees, it is fenced in. And uh, as we come up to the front, do have some bushes around the front. We'll take a peek around the corner real quick. This is what the side of the house looks like and kind of the side yard and you can see it goes back pretty far. We'll take a look at that backyard here in just a moment. And as we come through the front entry, we have nice inlay tile here. Mosaic tile accent. Directly in from the entry, we have the kitchen, main living space, and then this would be your dining. So nice size dining room. You've got the trade ceilings. Nice window letting in light. Tile throughout here. As we come into the kitchen, directly across, you have the arched doorways and opening up into the living space. Uh, does need some updating, I would say. Uh, new countertops, that sort of thing. You do have a, enough space to have a table as well, so you have a dining kitchen. Laundry is in the kitchen. No separate laundry room. But nice big pantry here. Plenty of room for storage, and the, I like how the shelves get set back, so you still have space to store mop, broom, what have you. From the kitchen goes into the garage. You have a two car garage here. And you have your water heater air handler. Pull down attic space for extra storage. I have two ceiling fans in here too. It's kind of unique. Coming back in towards the kitchen. Again, directly ahead, that's the dining. As we come around into the main living space, you do have nice high ceilings. Again, tile throughout here. We have the primary bedroom over there and the guest rooms over here. We'll check those out real quick. So here we have guest room number one. And I would say that's a king size bed, just to give you an idea. Kind of fills up the space, but there is plenty of space to have it. Still have some furniture, and I mean, plenty of space to walk around. It doesn't feel cramped. You have two closets, so you have, it goes all the way through. So plenty of storage space in that closet. Ceiling fan. And then as we come around here, we have the guest bathroom. Pretty straightforward, and I'm pretty sure tub, right? Yep, tub and, and shower. And you have an extra linen closet here, right off the guest bathroom, plenty of storage. And now as we come back around, you have your second guest room here. They're utilizing it as an office, ceiling fan, Nice big closet. And then we'll go check out the primary. This is looking back towards the front door. You do have the opening up there. Some uh, recessed lighting up uh, on the shelf there. Coming into the primary. Again, big space, big primary, king size bed. Uh, trade ceilings. I think they have the fans here. Maybe. They just got done washing the comforter on the bed and they're trying to air dry it. I'm not sure. The AC seems to be working just fine. It's nice and cool in here. Nice big closet. Walk-in closet for the primary. And as we come around to the bath, a little straightforward. 
Um, you don't have the dual vanity, but you do have plenty of counter space here. You have an additional linen closet to the side. If you wanted a dual vanity, you could probably take that linen closet out and extend the countertop and have two sinks. Toilet and shower is a walk-in shower, no tub on this one. That is the primary, and it's looking out over the backyard. Let's go check that out. You have nice uh, three panel slider. Uh, the first two are gonna stack up. Slides really nice and smooth. So those do stack up there. You have a good open space. Nice screened in patio here. Plenty of space for your table and four chairs and maybe even a separate seating area. Ceiling fan. And then as you come out, you have another additional uh, pavered area here. If I can figure out how to do that, there we go. And your fenced in yard. Really nice size. Plenty of space to let doggies run and really nice mature trees. Those You don't see that too often. So, you do have gate access right here on this side of the house. And then as we move around over here, I believe there's a gate on this side too. Yes. So you have a double gate there. So... That is uh, 45 Pinebrook.